Hi readers, Mrs. Jerkins here. How is your reading going? I hope it's going well. I have a question for you. Have you been running into any of those longer, bigger, trickier words? I bet you have. Am I right? And are you remembering to use the strategies that we talked about? We talked about that when words are tricky, we roll up our sleeves, right? We check pictures. We think about what would make sense. We look at parts of the word and we try and find words within the words. So I have to tell you that all of this reading work is really helping you grow as readers. And not only are you getting better as readers, you are becoming what's called flexible word solvers. So that means you have lots of different ways to be able to solve tricky words and you are really working on that. So I have something new to teach you today is that to become flexible word solvers, one of the tricks good readers use is they use two strategies at the same time. That can be hard. So the first thing they do is they reread and ask themselves what would make sense. And then what they do is they look at the first part of the word and see if they can figure it out. So let me show you a couple of examples. So here I have the view of the rolling hills and the farms was something. That is a big word. Okay, so I'm gonna think about my strategy today that I'm gonna try and do two things at once. And that can be hard. That can be really difficult. So it's easy to, you know, pat your tummy, right? Or rub your tummy and pat your head separately. I can do patting my head. I could do rubbing my tummy. But to do them at the same time can be tricky. So that's why we need to practice these things. So let's go ahead and practice. Okay, so the view of the rolling hills and the farms was something. <clears throat> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to first think about what would make sense. The view of the rolling hills and the farms was pretty, pretty. That's not the word pretty, huh? Okay. All right. So then I have to look at the first chunk of the word. So first thing I have to do is reread. And the second thing I do is I look at the first chunk of the word. So I see pick and then I can use another strategy, right? Oh, look, see right there. Picture. I know that word. Okay. Huh? Have you ever heard of the word picturesque? That means pretty, right? Something nice to look at picturesque and it has the word picture in it. So that helped me read that. That was a tricky one. I don't know if you know that one. I have a feeling you know this one though, but watch me as I try and figure it out. The octopus reached its long something into the next fish tank. The octopus reached its long something into the next fish tank. That is a tricky word. Hmm. Okay, so we're gonna think about our lesson for today. We're gonna try two strategies at the same time. So I'm gonna reread the sentence and try and think what would make sense. Then I'm gonna look at the first chunk of the word. So remember, we have to reread the sentence. The octopus reached its long something into the next fish tank. So it has to reach something. Like if I was reaching, it would be my hands or my fingers. So some kind of body part, I'm, I'm thinking. All right, so now, now that I've got it in my head what it should be, I'm gonna look at that first part of the word. You ready? The octopus reached its long 10, 10. Oh my gosh, do you know what it is? Tentacles? Tentacles into the next fish tank. Nice work. You guys are excellent readers. Very nice. Okay. I've got a couple more here for you so that you can practice. You ready? So here's the word, right? And we can look ahead at hard words. 
But then we have to reread, right? We have to look at the sentence and first think what would make sense. So the wizard waved his wand over the toad and said something and the toad turned into a princess. Wow. Okay, so this is something that the wizard said. Okay, so now I'm gonna read it again and I'm gonna look at that first chunk of the word. Here we go. The wizard waved his wand over the toad and said, I got an A there, right? Ab, abra, abra. Do you know what a wizard says? What's that magic word? Abracadabra? Yup, you guys are amazing. All right, and how about this one? So there's that word. It is overwhelming to me right now. So first thing I'm gonna do is reread my sentence and see if I can figure out what would make sense there. I built a little home for the tiny red salamander hoping to match its home something. Hmm, okay. I built a little home for the tiny salamander hoping to match its home link. Hmm. Well, I don't know. Someplace where the salamander lives? Habitat? Eh? Okay, let's see. I'm going to look at the first chunk now. So I've reread and I thought about what would make sense. Now I'm going to look at that first chunk. I built a little home for the tiny red salamander, hoping to match its home in, oh, I can look through the parts of the word too, environment, environment, look at that. So there is no way that you guys are reading your books and getting to hard words and throwing up your hands and saying, help me, help me, I don't know what this word is. You guys are becoming those flexible word solvers and you're able to do this all on your own. Okay, so go on and do your reading today and think about those strategies. And I want you to try those two strategies today at once as you do your reading work. Okay, have fun. Bye.